I'm Johnny Scoville. I have issues. And this is Chase, the heat. All right, so I've got premetal issues today, people. Um, I can't remember who said it. I, I, I thought I had uh, taken a screenshot of the uh, comment, but alas, I cannot find it. Yeah, I can't find it. But I thought it would be a good idea to do this. And, and believe it or not, I had this idea before I saw the person's comment, but I'm giving the person credit for it anyway. Um, here's what I've done. Um, I have create I I have primatales from I thought it was five, but it's only four different growers. And the reason I it's, I thought it was five is because I ate the last of them from uh, from Ryan Karcher, the Michigan chili grower. If I hadn't eaten those, I would have had a fifth grower. But they were real. I was really excited to eat them. That's terrible. I know. All right, so here's what I've got. I've got. Uh, Drew Verden, he's a really good friend of mine and a good friend of the channel. He got seeds from Jimmy Pickles, uh, Red Primatale, and this is the second year he's grown from this plant. Uh, and that's this right here. All right, and this is from Jimmy Pickles Seeds. Then this one here is from Jason Herod, and this is a wicked looking pepper. There's a chocolate primatale. So we have a red and a chocolate. This is one from Mike from Seeing Red Chilies. Wicked phenotype. Just gnarly looking. And then I've got two from Jason Beard. One is a golden primatale, which is just incredible looking. Just a fat, just gnarly pod. And then I have a really, really cool phenotype chocolate primatale of his. And look at that really cool little stinger on it. Just a gnarly pot. These are big, beefy pods. All right, let's get started. All right, I'm going to cut the uh, pods open first. And we'll sit here and talk. I had a, another great comment from somebody that I'm, I'm going to start doing it. Today probably isn't the best video to do it with. Let me tell you what their comment, what their suggestion was that I like a lot. They said, when I do a, a review of a pod, maybe cut off a small section of the pod to show a non chili head what would be a good, like a sliver to get an idea of the flavor of the pepper. And that's a great idea. So that's something I'm going to do. Exceptional cuts right so far. Excellent cuts so far, but I'm doing the tough one now. Here's that one from Jason. This is going to be a challenging one to cut. In fact, I'm not quite sure how to do it. It's the first time I've had a miscut in a long time. All right, I'll show you the interiors of all of them just momentarily. I cut a wing off the very tip of the stinger. All right, I'm gonna eat uh, Drew Verdon's first because it's the red one. I assume the, uh, I don't know, it's really weird. The very first time, I've had reds that were hotter than chocolates, but as of the last couple of years, chocolate seemed to be gnarlier. But here is the first one. It's a red primatale from Pickle Seeds. Thank you, Drew Verdon, for this. It's beautiful pepper. This is going to be a painful one. Well, five chocolates, or four, three chocolates, a golden, and a red. We'll see how bad it's going to be. I'm Johnny Scoville. I have issues. This is Jake Sneed.
It was very bitter and floral. If someone asked in a video, uh, video in a comment recently, what floor, what do I mean by that? I mean, kind of, you know, I used to say it tasted soapy, but I don't think it's soapy is the right way to describe it. Flowery or almost perfume-like. That's how I describe it. It had good heat to it. Burn is in my throat. Here's the interior of Jason Jason's. There's the whole pepper. Here's the big reveal. Wow, that one's cool. That one's worthy, worthy of taking a picture of, maybe. I'm going to hang on. Wow, that's cool. Okay. Sorry. It's the pepper nerd in me. I'm not even sure if this will make it onto Facebook to Instagram, but. Very, very oily uh, interior on this one that Jason grew. The wall lines are glistening. All right. Interesting flavor. Chocolate pods, like in my head, fruity is over here, earthy is over here. Red pods, yellow pods, orange pods seem fruity. Chocolate pods seem kind of earthy. The exception is the ahi mango crossed with the primitale that I had from uh, Ryan Carter, the Michigan Chili Girl. That had fruity tones to it. This was, the, that chocolate I just had from Jason Harrod was fruity up front, really odd. It was fruity and the fruity dissipated and then um, it became earthy at the end with almost like a nutty finish or coffee almost. Interesting pepper. Um, it's the hotter of the two so far. This one here is from Mike. This was, wow. You know, I gotta, I gotta take a picture of the interior of this one too. Weird interior. They're so different. The, the, the last one I showed you compared to this one is so different. Okay, remember the last one? How contorted it was on the inside? Kind of looked like my intestines. Beautiful chocolate prima tale. And look at the inside of this. Much different. Still the wall line, the wall linings are uh, very, very oily. Here we go. This is from Seeing Red Peppers. And said smokiness up front. There was no fruitiness. Now there's a little bit of fruitiness in Jason's pot up front that faded and then went to earthy. That one from Mike was earthy the whole way, no fruitiness. And it had smokiness up front that lasted about halfway while I was chewing before I swallowed it. So that was the first one that had smokiness and it was really smoky, which is just a cool flavor, a naturally occurring flavor. It doesn't happen all the time, you know?
birds in my throat. I would say that Jason's and Mike's are pretty similar in heat. Now we're gonna go to uh, Jason Beard's. Oh, I was gonna, let me just take it out. I'm sorry. as well. Yeah, I need that. All right, then I'm done with the camera. It's getting hot. All right, so wait till you see the inside of this golden from Jason, uh, from Jason Beard. You ready? Look at that. Gnarly interior. See how oily, the, right there above my fingertip, how oily that interior wall lining is? There too. I'm gonna do a uh, debate about the placenta pretty soon here. Cause there's been some talk about the placenta. Is that really where the heat is? Someone said it's not. I have, I don't know. We're gonna talk about it. Jason Beard's Golden. You got fruity here, earthy here, that was kind of here. There's a little bit of fruitiness to it, not much, but kind of more on the earthy side. Very different flavor than the chocolate and the red. I think, yeah, I'm gonna do that more often. Eating a mustard pod or a golden pod or a green pod back to back with a chocolate, I think maybe it might help me describe the green or the mustard better moving forward. Very different flavor, more leaning towards green as far as flavor, if you know what I'm talking about, than, than uh, interesting flavor. Now here's the, uh, as far as heat, I would say that's as hot as anything that uh, of the three of them so far, that's as hot as uh, Jason's and Mike's. Look at the inside of this chocolate. Interesting, huh? I'm gonna try to see, you know what? Here, let me see if this helps. See if you can see how oily that little cavern is. See how oily that wall lining is? Pretty cool looking. Here's Jason Beers. And here's the, the piece I cut off. If you were not chilling and you ate that little tea piece, it would be really, really hot for you. And I will do that in individual reviews moving forward. I'll cut off a small slice and show you an example of what would be a good starting slice for a non chili head. Anyway, Jason's, um, Jason Beard's chocolate. Smoky. My ear just started burning my left ear. Uh, 
That had a smokiness to it. That was almost the most smoky of the th of the f five peppers. Certainly the most smoky today. I would say all the chocolates were about the same heat. But that must, that golden was right there with the chocolate. Maybe a hair under. I think Jason Beard's chocolate was a little hotter than the golden. Interesting how they all, they all tasted like a prima tale, but they all slightly, very, a little bit different. It's kind of like, oh, it's hard to explain. I'm still trying to figure out how to describe flavors. It's not an easy thing to do. I've gotten better at it though. It's one thing to be able to identify, to know what you're tasting. You have to have a tolerance high enough to be able to taste them. But then describing flavors is different, you know? Here, I'll do it on this video. Here's another red primatale from this right here. Would be plenty if you're a non chili ad. The ear burning is nice, which means I'm going to get an endorphin rush. Always pleasant when that happens. And my left eye is watering. We're going to wrap it up now. What a fun idea for a video. Um, great peppers, guys. The growers are amazing. Thank you, Drew Verden, for those peppers from uh, that you grew for me. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. In the description, like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. How often do I say that? In the description box, you're gonna see a link for all five of these people. Please check them out. Uh, four growers, five peppers, but four different growers. Uh, right here, you're gonna see the light boat and my son, Johnny Scoble Jr. And right here, you're gonna see Pepperology. Uh, great, it's a geared for brand new chili heads and the 26 most painful challenges I've ever done. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm Johnny Scoble and this, oh, and I have issues. This was Chase the Heat.